Have you ever heard whispers of the legendary Special Air Service, or perhaps tales of the Maritime Marvel, the Special Boat Service? But there's another name, one that's even more elusive. Enter the Special Reconnaissance Regiment, Britain's best-kept secret, often compared to America's enigmatic The Activity. Born in 2005, the SRR is the phoenix that rose from the ashes of the famed 14th Intelligence Company, or The Date a covert force from 1973, shadowing the unrest in Northern Ireland. The SRR didn't just inherit the date's legacy, they amplified it. As a top-tier special forces unit of the British Army, the SRR is the master of disguise, often blending seamlessly into civilian life. Their mission? A myriad of covert operations. But their true genius? Surveillance and intelligence. The SRR's veil of secrecy is so dense that it makes the SAS and SBS look like open books. From the deserts of Iraq and Afghanistan to the war-torn streets of Syria, the SRR has been there, silently making history. Their main role? To be the eyes and ears for the SAS and SBS, delivering real-time intel from the heart of the action. With state-of-the-art tech at their fingertips, they're not just any special ops. Think of them as a military-grade intelligence agency, always one step ahead. But what truly sets the SRR apart? Their unparalleled training. Each operative undergoes rigorous sessions in surveillance techniques, photography, close-quarter combat, and even advanced driving. As global operations shift, these operatives also dive deep into language training, mastering tongues like Arabic and Farsi, ensuring they're always ready for any mission anywhere. Imagine an operative, skilled in concealing visual recording devices, adept at hiding in plain sight. Whether in dense foliage or on bustling city rooftops, they can tail targets on foot through crowded markets without raising suspicion or conduct high-tech surveillance from unassuming vehicles. Each member is trained to observe, trail, and communicate covertly, ensuring that vital information reaches the right hands at the right time. The true size and structure of the SRR remain shrouded in mystery. Some say it's around 200 operatives strong, akin to a compact, highly specialized company. Rumors suggest they operate from the same hallowed grounds as the SAS, the regional headquarters at Creedon Hill, now known as Sterling Lines. But with the SRR, nothing is ever certain. Their operations have spanned the globe, from covert missions in conflict zones to intelligence gathering in political hotspots. They've been the silent force behind many successful missions, ensuring that Britain's elite forces have the information they need to execute their operations flawlessly. In a world where information is power, the SRR stands as a testament to the importance of intelligence in modern warfare. They're not just soldiers, they're strategists, analysts, and above all, guardians of secrets. In the ever-evolving landscape of global conflicts, the Special Reconnaissance Regiment remains Britain's silent, watchful eye, always vigilant and always ready. In the covert world of the SRR, the tools of the trade go beyond just firearms and tactical gear. Imagine operatives skilled in the art of electronic eavesdropping, seamlessly installing wiretaps and hidden cameras. They're not just soldiers, they're master locksmiths, adept at picking locks and copying keys, ensuring they can discreetly enter any premises to plant listening devices, all without leaving a trace. The SRR's recruitment process is unique. Drawing talent from the Army, Navy, and Air Force, it stands as the only British Special Forces regiment that welcomes women into its operational fold. This diversity in recruitment ensures a wide range of skills and perspectives, making the SRR a formidable intelligence force. But with great power comes great responsibility, and the SRR hasn't been without its controversies. Cast your mind back to 2005, when London was rocked by a series of attacks. The SRR was swiftly deployed, their surveillance net cast wide in a bid to prevent further tragedies. Amidst this operation, a tragic error occurred. 
Jean-Charles de Menezes, a Brazilian national, was mistakenly linked to the attacks. Tracked by the SRR to an underground station, he met a tragic end at the hands of the police. This incident thrust the SRR into the limelight, sparking debates and investigations. Yet, the SRR's operations spanned far beyond British shores. Reports from Iraq and Afghanistan have hinted at their presence, working alongside elite units like Task Force Black. In the vast deserts and rugged mountains, the SRR's surveillance expertise has been invaluable in tracking down insurgent leaders. Captain David Patton of the SRR and Sergeant Paul Bartlett of the SBS were tragically lost. The SRR's reach even extended to the sands of Libya in 2011, where they trained and supported units fighting against the regime during the civil war. And in 2017, tales emerged of a female SRR operative in Syria. Ambushed by insurgents, she bravely fought back, showcasing the grit and determination that embodies the SRR. These stories, both of triumph and tragedy, paint a vivid picture of the SRR's role on the global stage. They're not just watchers, they're doers, always at the forefront, gathering intelligence and taking action when needed. In the ever-shifting sands of global geopolitics, the Special Reconnaissance Regiment remains a beacon of excellence, showcasing the best of British intelligence and special operations. Their tales of valor, sacrifice, and unwavering commitment to their mission serve as a testament to their dedication and skill. As we delve deeper into the world of covert operations and intelligence, the SRR stands as a reminder of the silent heroes who work in the shadows, ensuring safety and security for all. In the intricate tapestry of global special operations, the Special Reconnaissance Regiment stands as a unique thread, weaving tales of valor, intelligence, and resilience. Their operations, spanning continents, have left indelible marks on the annals of military history. Venturing into the heart of Libya during the tumultuous times of 2011, the SRR played a pivotal role. They weren't just observers, they were trainers, mentors, and allies to the National Transitional Council units. Their mission was clear, to bolster the forces fighting against the entrenched regime. Amidst the shifting sands and echoing sounds of conflict, the SRR ensured that the rebels had the intelligence and training to turn the tide. But the Middle East wasn't their only theater of operations. In the cold, war-torn landscapes of Syria in 2017, the SRR once again showcased their mettle. Reports emerged of an ambush that could have spelled disaster. Insurgents, sensing an opportunity, closed in on an SRR team. But among them was a female operative whose courage would become the stuff of legends. With her team pinned down, she took the fight to the enemy, neutralizing threats and ensuring her team's safety. Her actions that day were a testament to the SRR's training and ethos, to never back down, no matter the odds. Yet the world of the SRR isn't just about combat and confrontations, it's about intelligence, strategy, and ensuring that Britain and its allies always have the upper hand. Their operations, often cloaked in layers of secrecy, have had ripple effects across global events. From tracking insurgent leaders in the rugged terrains of Afghanistan to supporting counterterrorism efforts on home soil, the SRR has been the silent force, ensuring that threats are neutralized before they can take root. But what lies ahead for this elite regiment? As global dynamics shift and new challenges emerge, the SRR is poised to adapt and evolve. Their expertise in surveillance, intelligence gathering, and covert operations ensures that they remain at the forefront of Britain's defense strategy. Rumors and whispers suggest that the SRR is already charting new territories, exploring realms beyond traditional warfare. Cyber intelligence, space reconnaissance, and even underwater surveillance might be the new frontiers for this elite unit. But as always, the true extent of their operations remains shrouded in mystery. In a world filled with uncertainties, one thing is clear. The Special Reconnaissance Regiment will continue to operate in the shadows, always watching, always ready. Their tales, both known and those yet to be told, serve as a beacon for all who value courage, commitment, and excellence.
And as we ponder their past exploits and future endeavors, we're left with a lingering question. Where will the SRR's shadow fall next?